Hi, everybody. I'm talking about supercharging developer productivity with advanced code search. My name is Prosper Tomiwa. I'm a developer advocate at SourceGraph. And let's talk about developers for a bit. Every developer in the world spends a huge amount of time reading rather than writing code. And every developer in the world, I believe, should have access to the best code discovery and search tools that supercharges their productivity and makes them move fast no matter the type of code base they are in. SourceGraph. SourceGraph is a code search tool that allows you to search all of your public code and your private code. Irrespective of the size of the code base, small, medium, and large, SourceGraph is the best tool out there that allows you to search all of your code. So let's talk about SourceGraph value to developers, right? SourceGraph has indexed over 2.1 million open source repositories. So you can search with SourceGraph to find code from open source repositories across GitHub and GitLab. It also allows you to search private code across several repositories. And SourceGraph provides precise code intelligence on your code file. It also allows you to automate large scale code changes. SourceGraph has a feature called batch changes that allows you to batch a lot of changes instead of submitting several pull requests for you know, similar or the same changes. And we have what you call code monitoring and code insights. I'll talk about that later. Now, SourceGraph, as some people call it, the Google of code search. The same way you can use Google to search for anything you want, you can use SourceGraph to go straight to your code to be able to search for several types of things in your code base, search for different files, search for functions, search for you know classes, search for symbols, in your code base. SourceGraph allows you to very much do that. Now let's talk about the different code search patterns that SourceGraph allows you to do, right? There's a literal code search, there's a regular expression, and there's a structurer. You know, if you have used VS Code or Sublime, locally, it allows you to search for different things. You open it, you, you open your command, you search for a file, or you search for a function, and it brings it out, right? With SourceGraph, you don't have to clone repositories anymore. You don't have to have them on disk. Once they are connected to SourceGraph, SourceGraph allows you to search for them on the web, on the cloud, or you can even have your own self-hosted version of SourceGraph. All right. Let's get into the different code search patterns. Number one, literal search, all right? With SourceGraph literal search, it allows you to literally take, you know, whatever you want to search for and dump it into the search engine, right? Look at what we have here. I'm trying to search for how Suspense, the Suspense component in React is used in the world, in open source repositories. And then I have a language keyword called JavaScript. So what, I'm, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to limit the code search to look for suspense in javascript projects across github and gitlab so now this is our result it has returned the result of how suspense is used across different repositories which this is one of the value out of source graph right you can if you're trying to use a an api method and you're trying to see how people are using it you can literally just dump it in source graph and source graph will bring out all the repositories that are using this you know component or api method and it allows you to check through and then just you know you can copy and paste or you can study how other people have been using it uh so i decided to search for this feature you know the, this api method called unstable underscore batch update which is in react as well uh, some of you use it already and then i decided to search for it within the react js repo uh, organization so it looks for every occurrence of this function and it brings out the results for me now you can see react to react dom react dom and then you can see all the, rep uh, the, the repos that has this particular api method so i can enter into each of these files and dig deep and find other occurrences and references of this particular api method now regular expressions we all we all use regular expressions or you know about regular expressions source graph allows you to search for code using regular expressions now let, let's look at this um query here right i'm trying to search for folks or projects that are dependent on react right Look at, I'm limiting this to the file. Look for, you know, projects in the world that has packaged the JSON and see how many of them are using some of the, you know, latest versions of React. So if you go to the results here, these are the results it's showing for us. So you can see the different projects that depend on React 17, React 16.9. And if you scroll down, you can do it right now, you know, as I'm speaking, you can see all the different projects that depend on this version of React. So you can even come and specify to say, oh, I want to see all projects that are using React 17.0.2. I want to see all projects that are using React 16.2.2 to be specific, so that you can you see how you know people are dependent on a particular version of your package. So here, for what you can see here, I am trying to search for this query 
from within a branch, right? So we have M champ patch two, M champ patch two. So what I have here now is a regular expression that says, hey, look for any branch that starts with M champ, right? As long as it has M champ within it, search for Ubuntu latest within the branches of this source graph organization, right? So now it brings out all the files, right? That allows, that has Ubuntu latest in it. So I can say, I can scroll through all these files and then, you know, get the information I'm looking for. Now let's go to structural search. With structural search, structural search is so amazing. It allows you to set blocks of code, right? So I can take a try catch block. I can paste it here. And like what I've done here, I took an if block. I pasted it here and said, hey, search for all occurrences of this within <laughs> the Google organization. So it's going to search through all Google's repositories right now and bring me every code base that, that has this expression in it. Isn't that wonderful? So you can do this for anything. You can do this even within, you know, you, you can try it right now within React or whatever organization you want to try it. Or you can connect your code base to Source Graph and then go ahead and perform this structural search. So why do you actually need Source Graph? You need Source Graph to move fast, developer velocity. You also need Source Graph to be able to onboard new developers to a code base, right? The faster developers can understand your massive code base, the better they can add features, fix bugs, and move very fast. Also for code base refactors, you need source graph. So with source graph, with your literal search, with your regular expressions, with your structural search, it allows all your developers to be able to find files easily, you know, refactor their code base easily, find definitions and references, and ramp up with your code base as soon and fast as possible. So let's do a recap of the parameters we have here, right? You can search for symbols, right? You can search for symbols and it will just bring out, you know, the, the symbols that you just search for. You can also search via your files, right? You specify a file path and say, search for everything, everything within, you know, this file. Or you can search within commits and diffs as well, right? You can also search by narrowing it down to languages. Hey, I want you to give me occurrence of this, but just within Go files, as you can see here. Now you can learn more about code search on our learn platform. If you go to learn.sourcegraph.com, you can find more resources, docs.sourcegraph.com, and all the links that I have here. Thank you. And definitely reach out on Twitter. I'm Unicode developer on Twitter. I'm also Unicode developer on GitHub. Thank you very much. Bye.